Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alisha. Today, let's talk about how to become a SDET or a test automation engineer. SDET is nothing but a software development engineering in test. Or in other words, you could say a software developer who works in a test team and not in a development team. So in short, you call them a SDET. I'm working as an SDET for the past nine years. So this video would be totally based upon my experience as a SDET. This video will be focusing on what roles should an SDET perform and what is expected from an SDET. I ensure this video is going to be very informative for who wants to shift their career to SDET and for SDETs to prepare for an interview so they would know what the companies expect from a SDET. So guys, let's get into more detail. I would like to classify skills of a SDET into three types of skills. One, soft skill. Two, hard skill. Three, outstanding skills. Let's get into what is soft skill. What do you mean by soft skill? It's nothing but some kind of interpersonal skills. So what the soft skill has to do with an SDET? Yes, soft skills has a lot of things to do with an SDET. First thing, the very most important thing, learning. You are in this role. The most important part is you should have the mindset to learn a lot of new tools, technologies, languages, and you need to learn a lot of things that comes by. So learning is the first and the foremost and the important skill that a SDET should own. Sad to say, if you are not interested in learning, then I don't think SDET is a role that would suit you. It would be just for a namesake, but you would not be able to fit in this role. Next, team player. What I have mostly seen is always tester involved with the testing team. However, for an SDET, that is not the case. They should interact with developers, analysts and architects. Get to know the application, the services used in the application, the architecture and the backend of the system. This involvement would be highly within the team such that you would be always having some clarifications about the application. So you always need to have a good rapport with your developers. So for that, you need to be a better team player. So what is the next skill? It's very easy. It's ask questions. This is always a good to have and an interesting skill that everyone in the field should possess, I feel. Always ask questions. You would get a lot of answers for your questions. So it would be easy to understand what are the drawbacks and you could actually implement something that is efficient. Now let us come into hard skills. I call it as hard skills because they are technical skills. Technical skills is a must to have for an SDET. I would categorize these technical skills as UI specific tools, API specific tools, performance specific tools. So what is UI specific tools? There are a lot of UI specific tools currently available in the market and the most famous among them is Selenium. So what is Selenium? Selenium is an open source testing tool. What does Selenium do? Selenium helps to automate most of our testing processes. So that is why it is a most very basic tool for a test automation engineer. So in order to become an SDET, it is not about having the basic information of selenium but you should be capable to know what is inside selenium what is the internal process with selenium so that make you something different and you be an SDET. if you are not aware about selenium take some courses from udemy or youtube or google it you would get a lot of details as it's an open source you can download it in your computer and try it out it is the most basic tool that all test automation engineers should know apart from being an SDET. For an SDET, it's not about knowing about the basic but the internal process. There have been a lot number of UI tools in the market. Always stick on to more than two or three UI tools. Learning about one tool is always a basic and it's not a SDET. SDET should be capable of at least knowing two or more tools and know the internal process of that particular tool. Now let's come into API tools. What is API? API is nothing but web services. Now there are a lot of web service tools currently available in the market and some of them include Postman, SOAP UI, XYZ. What you can do is ask the developers about the services that is running in your application. Get those services. If it is a REST service, you can install Postman and try using Postman for that. You would get experience. Next is performance tools. 
most automation engineers wouldn't be aware of performance tool because if you're working in a company we have a sole responsible team called performance test team and they would be taking care of all the performance related testing activities but that is not the case for an SDET. SDET should know at least one tool JMeter. JMeter is the best tool that we could learn up. So what is JMeter? JMeter is open source and it is very easy to learn. We have courses in Udemy and as well as Google google through this course and get in touch with this particular tool it would be easy for you and that would be a boom to your sd career so finally we are done with the most basic elementary skills that sd have my soft skills and my hard skills so what is next how do you be distinguished from others yes we do have a next set of skills called as outstanding skills so what is this outstanding skills Outstanding skills are the skills that you need to possess if you want to stand apart from all the other rest of the crowd. If you want to project yourself from out of the SD crowd, then you really need to possess these outstanding skills. So let's get into more detail. So I would take my hard skills and I would connect my outstanding skills towards my hard skills. So first is UI tools. There are a lot of tools in the market, but the one that is rushing and booming up it is a Cypress tool. Get to learn about the Cypress. What Cypress does is it creates intelligent scripts. Don't you want to try something that is intelligent? Go to Cypress and try learning the tool. You would get the courses in Udemy. One of my example what I've done is Cypress tool. I have automated my application using Cypress and it was a huge hit. So that is the reason I recommend you the same. Always try innovating. Existing applications always need to be migrated into new frameworks. Always try for new tools. So one among that what I felt comfortable was Cypress. So one among the most interesting tools that I have put my hands in is robotic process automation tools. So what is robotic process automation tools? These are kind of you create small small robots that is capable to uh, automate your everyday task you can get into more detail google it find it out about those particles i am only giving hints about some of the tools that would be a big boom to your estate career the next is ci cd tools continuous integration and continuous deployment tools the most familiar among us estates are jenkins are the soft skills hard skills and the outstanding skills more than these tools technologies etc the next basic knowledge that estate should possess is all about various frameworks currently available various design patterns for example when it comes to framework we do have a lot of framework like keyword driven rat ad driven etc and when it comes to design patterns we have page object model page factory so what an SDIT should know is in order to suggest for his team so he or she should learn about frameworks and various design patterns so that they could implement something new with the project to summarize i would like to say SDIT is all about research and development the name says what it means that's it to have better career opportunities and to start off a career SDIT is always a good to go according to my experience so guys if you like my video Please do subscribe my channel, like my video and click on the bell icon. Thank you guys.